God is faithful. I want to thank God for this great author of AZPPP, for what God has done in my life and that of my family. He's a faithful God. And I call Pastor Moses my God sent prophet. For the past 13 years, we'll be trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. Last year, October 2022, Pastor Moses visited my home. Although I was not around, but he, he spent the night in my home. And the following day, he called me and said, My sister, just be thanking God. The Lord has done it. Because the revelation I had in your home last night, God has done it. Just be thanking God. And that was what I was doing. I started thanking God. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. And that same month of October was when we were told is AZPPP to do a victory song in anticipation of what we are expecting the Lord to do for us. And I did mine. The following month, November 2022, the Lord visited me. And I was confirmed pregnant. When the result of the test came and it was positive, I just fell down and I was saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Two weeks later, I went to see the doctor and told the doctor that I am not feeling anything. The doctor looked at me and smiled and said, Madam, go. The baby is there. You will not feel anything until a few months later. And I started watching it. Month one, month two, month three, four. Till month nine, to the glory of God. This wonderful God, I brought forth a beautiful baby girl. Thank God, AZPPP family, join me to praise this great God for what he has done for me and my family. For these past 13 years, Pastor Moses has been there for me. Anytime I call him to ask, are you praying for me? He will say, I am praying for you. Don't worry, the Lord will do it. I know I don't give him breathing space. I always call. And thank God for the grace he has given to me and my husband to have waited upon him for these past 13 years. And we have seen the miracle in this altar of AZPPP. I have handled it. I'm still handling it in my hands. My eyes has behold the miracle. I want to encourage everyone who is trusting God in one area or the other not to give up on this altar. This altar, God is doing great and wonderful things here. He is doing great miracle. And I believe as you trust God and continue to seek Him on this altar, He will bring your own miracle. The Lord who has done mine will do your own. Please, great family of AZPPP, join me to thank this great God for what He has done for me, for how He has removed the reproach from my family. I say, may his name be praised and glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen.
Kaya, Erako Topara Sakaya, Leviate Kusabrate Kashaka, Erekatabeliata, Azobra de Kataya, Ereko Shagabara Kataya, E Shata Kazo Breketaya, Elifia de Gosabra de Kata, Ashara Kotobere Teketa, Erego Shadabababababababa, Erado Sabra de Kushaka, Ereko Toberet, Alifia de Gosa, Ereke Shigabalabala, Arato Zata, Erego Shadabata, Ereke Beliata, Ezuale Kosa, Eremene Shadagada, Erepate Gosa Latea, Ereto Shadabababababa, O my God, Rate Leba, Arata Labasha, Areko Tobiata, Eviato Zina, Ereko Shadababa, Erata Kazoteria, Lord, we give you praise this morning. We store your name on high, the prayer answering God, the one who is able to do exceedingly. It is you we've come, we've come to adore, we've come to worship, we've come to raise up, we've come to lift high upon this altar this morning. Rewrite the story of many, shift the narrative, give them a miracle in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Good morning, people of God. It is joy for me to welcome you to this altar this morning. I know the Lord will be meeting you at the very point of your name. Today is Wednesday, the day that we try to read us some of the prayer requests that we receive. So we begin with this one. They've written and said, Good morning, Pastor Moses. Please stand in the gap for me and help me in this prayer. The enemies will not triumph over me. Every manipulation to bring the wrong man into the life of my daughter. They put the initials of the man there, R-O-A-E, uh, into the life of my daughter. The daughter's name is Lady R. Will not prosper. Ah, enough is enough. Any author that wants to take my daughter to marry this man will not work. Please, sir, this week, they wanted to marry my daughter by force. Uh -uh, by force. But I said no to the bride price. They want to do the wedding this Saturday. Please, man of God, join me in prayer. That altar will catch fire. And God will disgrace that man. That God will cause confusion and scatter it. We are going to pray. And if this man, R-O-A-E, is not the right man for the daughter, that the Lord will scatter it. And in case the daughter is listening, marriage is, is a family thing. It's beyond just two people. And uh, if there's something that the mother is seeing, that the daughter is not seeing, that we open the eyes of others to be able to see, and the daughter as well. So that you don't get into a lifetime commitment of misery. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Reko shagabada bada baya. Rata beleta. Alafia de gosa. Reko shagabada baya. Rekata zagotoba. Reshagadaya. Reto seteya. Father, we lift up Lady R into your hands. We decree this morning. She will not marry the Man, Sikarazo Breketea, every trap that has been set for her in form of the man, we scatter, we scatter, we abolish, we clean out, Shagaratos, Rebadagata, Shagarato, Regatebea, Sikotosadaya, we up. Torn, we overturn all the plans, all the plots, scatter in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, you rescue that lady from a life of misery, a commitment to a marriage of misery. We scatter in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, as you rescue at this time, bring the right man into our life, the right husband, the 
man. Let him come. Let him come. In the name of Jesus, where there are battles, oh God, scatter all the plans of the wicked one and rescue this situation once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The next person said, Praise the Lord, Pastor Moses. Today I start the medicine. Please, Pastor, pray for me to get pregnant. Good health, baby. God bless you, Pastor. Father, in the name of Jesus, everybody pray for this lady. We command in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God touch you, touch you, touch you. I call for your pregnancy right now. Let the will of the Lord be done in your life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Glory to God. Next one said, Good afternoon, Pastor Moses. I'm requesting prayer for my husband. Uh, name, Pastor T from new jersey he is doing surgery tomorrow morning please lift him up in prayer thank you father in the name of jesus we lift up that man we soak his life in the blood of jesus we decree by the mercies of god let the hand of god reach out to him reach out to him right now i speak this morning all is well with him all is perfect with him the hand of god has touched that man make him completely well in jesus precious name and everyone say amen and amen next person said yes man yes man of god this is okay we refer to them as a from uganda i watched you on youtube you prayed for a kenyan lady with hiv and she got healed i request for your prayers on my continued healing from hiv hiv is not my portion man of god thanks we're going to pray for this but you know god heals this in fact maybe tomorrow we'll share one or two of testimonies of some of the very recent testimonies we receive of hiv healing that you have not heard yet god helping us we'll do that we're going to pray for this person and decree healing now this person is uh referred to them as a uh, uh, initials A from Uganda. Everybody pray. We stand in the name of Jesus and we rebuke every affliction of HIV. Flush out, 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 out of your life right now. Let the blood of Jesus begin to flow, begin to flow, and rescue you, and deliver you, in the name of Jesus, I stand by the mercies of God, I call for your rescue, your deliverance, be free now, let the yoke of the infirmity be broken, of your life, of your life, Ayatosa, Reba Shadada, Rekotoberiata. I declare the yoke breaker, the yoke breaker, the yoke breaker, be loose from that infirmity, never to come upon you again. In Jesus' precious name, everyone say, 
Amen and Amen. Glory to God. Next person said, hello, Emoji. Hope you're good. I watched a video of a testimony on a girl getting healed from HIV. Okay? And I believe that when you pray for me as well, I shall receive a great testimony like this. Please help. I've gone to different prophets, have done a lot of directions. I keep praying. Though, but MOG, please help me. I am Lady Arrow from Ghana. Everybody pray for this lady. Rebuke her. Every demonic affliction over her life be broken. Break. Break. This morning we declare the affliction leave your body now be flush out be flush out be flush out rakashabadabaya regodobaladeya eswatelosa rakashakata rakatebaya rafataya I release fire 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 whatever is powering the disease in your life Life be dissolved, be dissolved, be dissolved in the name of Jesus. The hand of God comes upon you, rescue you completely in Jesus' precious name. And everyone say, Amen and Amen and Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Next one said, Good day, man of God, and is a PPP family. Prayer requests. Number one, sir, please agree with us for financial increase as our car just developed a big problem and we are being told it would cost 2,000 pounds. God will bring the resources. Number two, God to help my hip so that I can walk and come to church on Sunday. Thank you, sir, for standing with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up this individual into your hands. I command financial change, financial shift, financial increase. Every resource that you need be provided for right now. Right now. Right now. We call it in. We call it in. We call it in. I pray for your heap. I rebuke every affliction upon your heap. Let the healing power of the Holy Ghost flow through you now. Dissolve the infirmity completely. Dissolve completely. Dissolve completely. I declare you whole by the power of Jesus. You're free completely. In Jesus' precious name. And everyone say, Amen and Amen. Glory to God. Next person said, Blessed evening, man of God. I trust God you and your family are doing well by the grace of God. Please, sir, I have two prayer requests. Number one, prayer for my firstborn. Pastor, one thing that I observed in my family and my husband's family, all the men, all the man firstborn find life very difficult, including my husband. He's not the firstborn, but he's the male firstborn. My husband has tried all his possible best to make it at the edge of his breakthrough. Strong evil man or woman will appear. The same to my senior brothers. All the male children, my brothers and sisters, including my sister and brother-in-laws, the same thing is happening to my own firstborn son. That devil is a liar. Pastor, sir, I don't know what our forefathers have done. The secret altar they enter 
with their first male born children now pastor the little money my son is receiving now i don't know how he connected to 419 people through internet or facebook the people are collecting money from him we have talked to him i've prayed and fasting on my own he's still not stopping pastor how do i know when he opened his account he was under age so my phone number and email is attached to his account so anything he does with the account messages come to me i didn't let him know about it please sir pray a fire prayer to destroy any evil appearing at the edge of my son's breakthrough and those 419 that is communicating god should release confusion in their midst by fire thank you so much i will return the testimony to god almighty okay so this is like a plague on firstborn sons in the husband's family in our own family and it happening to her even her nephews is threatening to happen to her son now the law will scatter it that evil pattern will stop number two daddy my other son this class he is now my children find it difficult to pass the class and the same activity he is doing bible says affliction shall not rise the second time please uh, help me in prayer before this my son's birthday let miracles happen for god to satisfy him early pastor sir i'm tired of eating from hand to mouth pray for me and my children for god to kill that enemy that appear at the edge of our breakthrough god bless you sir and more grace everybody pray relief fire against this evil pattern in the name above every name we release fire against the evil pattern every covenant every altar that is speaking against the firstborn songs in your family catch fire 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 we stand in the word of God the Bible says it is for this reason that the son of God was made manifest Manifest, that he might destroy the works of Satan. Let the works of Satan over your life, over your family. Let it scatter. The plagues of the life of firstborn sons. Break, 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 break. I decree your firstborn son will not suffer the plague will not suffer the plague we command his rescue we command his freedom we declare him loose we declare him free we call him out out of that cage out of that cage Hey, let the hold over your husband, let the hold over the family be broken now. The evil pattern is over. I speak over all the firstborn songs. Rise and succeed. Rise and succeed. Rise and succeed. From today, you rise and you succeed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your other son in his academics, that class that your children find difficult to go through. He will not struggle there. He will not fail there. The grace of God to make it rest upon him. Rest upon him. He will make it in the name of Jesus. We rescue your son, your firstborn, from the trap of internet 
floods. We let the flood start. Whatever hold they have on him. Break. 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 We let the scale over his eyes open. And fall off. In the name of Jesus. He's free now. By the power of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. Next one said. Uh, Hi Pastor Moses. The man of God. You can address me as initials PG. I'm a final year student at a medical school. Studying bachelors of medical laboratory science. Over the last two months till now. I've been feeling back pain. Chest pain. And pain inside my body. But the medications I'm taking are not working. And this has affected me in my studies. That devil is a liar. And I'm not doing well in my test. And also I have difficulty in waking up in the morning. And sometimes my body feels weak and tired in the morning. So dear Pastor Moses, please pray for me. So I can receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And also pray over my academic career so I can do good in my studies and test and graduate with a high gpa and also pray for wisdom knowledge and understanding from god because i'm having problems with understanding and remembering and a prayer of deliverance i have faith and trust in god that he will heal and restore my body in one piece and help me succeed in my academic career Amen. Thank you, Pastor Moses. That devil is a liar. A final year student, the devil is attacking them, but the attack is broken. The attack is over. We pray for you now. I command every pain you are feeling in your body, every pain in your chest, every pain on your back, every pain over your body, whatever it is, whatever the affliction is, we flush it out. Flush it out, flush out with the blood of Jesus. Flush out, flush out, flush out. I plead the blood, and by the blood, you are free, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil is trying to do in your life, to destroy your academics, we scatter it. Let the hand of God rest upon your head. Rest upon your head. Receive wisdom. Receive knowledge. The ability to remember. Come upon you now. Every weakness that is coming over you. Making you unalert. Making you struggle to wake up. Shade Blotex, Rebedegata, Shagarata, Sekarata, let him break in the name of Jesus. My God, deliver you completely, rescue you now. And you will testify in Jesus' precious name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. Glory to God. The next person said, Dear Pastor Moses, I am. All right, we refer to the initials. Lady M from Brazil. So this person is writing us from Brazil. Please, Pastor, can you pray for the uh, Nazareth family and my own family? Everybody pray right now. We pray for this Nazareth family. We soak you in the blood of Jesus. The prayer for Lady M's family. We soak all of you in the blood of Jesus. We release the grace of God, the mercies of God, the life of God, the light of God to break loose, break free upon your family right now, right now, right now. My God, move upon the family and turn every negative situation around. Give you a testimony in Jesus' precious name. Everyone say, Amen and Amen. Glory to God. The next person said, Praise God, man of God. 
I thank God for being part of your children. I'm from Kenya, but I live in South Sudan. Dad, I've never had a good relationship. I got married. My husband died. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. After 10 years, I had, a, I had another relationship. The man was always fighting me. I left. I left now. I left now. I'm in South Sudan. I have started dating, but still the same things. I wish to get married and settle. This issue of quarreling had made one of my friends called, okay, we refer to them as Lady M. She's annoyed with me, and I love her. Please pray for me, for her to forgive me, and God to bless me with a nice relationship. This man wants to destroy my job. Pray for me so that he can stop his evil plan. Once more, I wish to remind to put me prayers for the tender of code 8 so that I can be awarded. I wish to win this tender in Jesus' mighty name. I pray God to intervene in this tender that I'm pushing. I'm told one person is the one who is negative about my proposal. Also pray for me, for God to bless me with promotion at my workplace. With promotion at my workplace. I pray for peace in my house and God's guidance. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus and declare settlement for this lady. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree this morning every wrong person in her life I have be cleared out, cleared out, cleared out, cleared out, cleared out, cleared out. I stand this morning and I decree in the name of Jesus, the Lord bring Bring you uh, the right man, uh, the right husband, uh, whatever uh, attracts uh, the wrong people uh, in your life, uh, be flushed out, uh, flush out, uh, flush out, uh, flush out, uh, flush out, flush uh, out, flush out, flush out, let the right one come, uh, let the loving one come. Let the one that you both have good understanding of each other. Let him come. I call him in. I call him in. I call him in. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your tender. I decree the favor of God be upon it. Even the one person who has a negative view about it, God turn their heart in your face. Favor and let the contract be awarded to you. Receive wisdom, receive grace. I bless your job. I pray for promotion. My God, settle you completely. Let every area of your life be completely settled by the mercies of God in Jesus' precious name. Everyone say, Amen and Amen. Next person said, Hello, Pastor. We continue to ask for prayer for our mom as she has had the successful brain surgery and no strokes, praise God, and no complication from her February 18th brain surgery. She is in recovery and slowly coming along. We just would like to see her be more responsive and be able to open her eyes more often. So we just ask that you join us in prayer for this recovery and we know this will be our testimony and God will get all the glory. Thank you. Everybody thank God for the success of that brain surgery. Pray and declare our recovery will be speed. We, we come with speed. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the success of that brain surgery. We are grateful to you that the devil did not take it over. We are grateful 
grateful to you uh, that you preserved our life. Uh, you did not allow stroke. Uh, you ayagabada bada baya. No brain damage. Uh, we pray for a recovery. Uh, and we decree this morning. Uh, she recovers uh, speedily. Uh, speedily. Uh, speedily. Uh, let all the systems uh, of her body uh, be activated uh, with grace. Uh, with the message of God. Uh, I decree from today she will recover with speed recover with speed more alert more responsive she is healed by the power of Jesus never to be bound again glory to Jesus hallelujah hallelujah next one said good evening Pastor Moses my name is referred to the initials as M and I would like to know if you may pray for me as I prepare to take a state examination which is required to maintain employment in the state of Florida as an educator I have a deadline of April 30th and I've already taken this test over seven times eh? you are going to pass it now that devil is a liar and I'm missing the passing score by two to three points. You will not miss it anymore. You will not miss it anymore. People think about an exam she has written seven times. She has a deadline for the 30th. You will pass it this time. I've inquired of the Lord to ask whether he wants me in another field. You will pass it. Even if God wants in another field, you will not fail this test. But have not obtained clear instructions on which way to go. I'm needing clarity for my nest. I would like to pass this exam to defeat this giant. I need fear and anxiety to be broken off of my life and declare that 2024 will be the year of victory for myself and family. Thank you in advance for your assistance and may God continue to bless the works of your hands. This is coming from uh, M. We refer to them as M. People, we are going to pray for this person. You can't write an exam seven times and fail it. No, no way. No way. She's going to pass it now. She's going to pass it now. Everybody, and I want to speak to that person, whoever you, you are that's connected and send this prayer point. Listen to me. Let fear leave your heart. Because when you have written an exam seven times, the devil will use it to plant fear. You'll be shaking. Even the things you know, you'll be forgetting. Let fear leave your heart. Say to yourself, I pass it this time. From this altar, we are declaring you are passing that test. You are passing it. So remove fear, remove anxiety. Anytime the devil is trying to tell you, you fail. Tell them, no, no, no. The Lord is roaring from the AZPPP altar and he's saying you will pass it. Everybody pray now. In the name of Jesus, I decree over your life right now. You will not fail that test anymore. The capacity and ability to pass the test comes upon you now. Yes, 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 yes. You will not miss the mark. You will not. Your scores will not be below the pass mark. The mark you require to pass this test receive it now every manipulation of the devil every manipulation by the spirit of fear and anxiety that is keeping you stuck we break it of you we break it of you I declare as you sit for that test again you pass it now in the name of Jesus no more mistakes no more errors. No more failure. God give you the victory. It is done. In Jesus' precious name. Everyone say, Amen. You have passed it. You have passed it. Hear me. You have passed it. Go and do it and get the result. Send us your testimony. God be praised. Next person said, Greetings, man of God. 
My name is referred to them as L, their initials. All these people, we've got their names, but we're just using the first initials of their name. Referred to them as L. I got your contact from a friend. I need prayers. I've been going through a lot of challenge. Currently, I'm jobless. I need your help with prayers. Thank you and God bless you. Everybody pray for El. Lord, we pray for El. We command the challenges in their life be turned to miracles, turned to testimonies. I pray for you. May God give you a miracle job. The employment that you seek let it come true let it come true let it come true kaya da basha rekoto balata repataya ajaga da gate repada bayata zwale kota regateya shada da kota repetele la via de gosa rasha kata let the god of this altar intervene for you i give you your miracle you return here with your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to the King. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise God. Next person wrote and said, Good morning, Pastor Moses. Blessing to you and your family and the AZPPP team. Thank you for all you do for God's children. I thank God for you and for your tireless work in the life of people. Pastor Moses, I had COVID in 2021 and again in 2022. Since then, my stomach has been damaged. Huh? And I was told by the gastro doctor that I have severe acid reflux. It is so bad that when I eat the food back up in my esophagus, what devil is that? We reject that devil. Get out from there. Causes me to cough because it burns my throat and causes me to regurgitate. I was told that the splinter, splinter and muscles in my esophagus are weak and thus the reason for the backup of food. They wanted to do surgery by wrapping my stomach around my esophagus this, this is covid caused this thing that devil is a liar the surgery is dangerous and also expensive and would not totally resolve the problem i refused the surgery and told them that i trusted god to heal me he will heal you i took loads of probiotics communion twice a day and did a restricted diet and it was healed now i've started to introduce more fruits and vegetables in my diet because i'm a vegetarian and the doctor told me that i was not eating enough it started again it keeps me up at night and i cough all the time pastor moses please pray for this situation in the name of jesus to go and never return. It will leave you. My next request is for the internal revenue. Every year for the past 20 years, I've had to pay back these large sums of money to them. Although I claim zero dependence and pay an extra $500 each year. Pastor Moses, I was told that I owe them $22,000. Uh-uh. For 2019, 2021, and 2022. Now, this month is task time again. And I know they will continue to keep adding more money. Pastor Moses, even when I am due a task refund, they keep it and send me a letter to say thank you. Pastor Moses, I'm asking you to pray for me that this be broken. And that they will refund all of my money back to me. And that this $22,000 be counseled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Pastor Moses. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. And this was writing us from the state with uh, uh, initials Lady A.H. Everybody are going to pray. That condition, that condition 
with our esophagus, the Lord will clear it out. Somebody, you are going to pray. Let's lift up our voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for Lady H. I decree that condition with your esophagus, with the muscles, with your system that causes food to regurgitate, that keeps you in a state of helplessness. We dissolve it. Let the you break, let the you break. I call my healing hearts, permanent healing hearts, permanent healing hearts, permanent healing hearts. Oh God, you know how to do it. Every organ that cannot be repaired, be replaced by the Holy Ghost with a new word, be replaced. Let angels carry out a divine surgery on you like eyes. I command the systems of your body be corrected. Corrected. Hey, I correct the systems of your body right now. Right now. They are corrected in the name of Jesus. I decree over you by the message of God. Let the hand of my king move upon you. Move aya. That sickness leave you now in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. That debt of $22,000 that be placed over you, we cancel it. We cancel it. We raise it this morning. Yes, yes, yes. I raise it. I raise it. I raise it. I decree. May the Lord grant you favor with the task office. Let favor be granted to you. Let your records be wiped clean. Every refund that you are supposed to have, I call it in for you now. In the name of Jesus, receive divine intervention and return here with your testimony to the praise and glory of God's name it is done in the name of Jesus Christ what a mighty God we serve next person said dear Pastor Moses thank you so much for all you do for us with our season I want to come back here after this court case to testify of God's goodness I wrote to you some time ago how my landlady wanted to evict me from my house. I know it's her home and she can do whatever she wants with it. All I pray is for the court to rule in my favor to have more time to get another place, at least three months. She's asking for at least three months. She will get the three months. So my daughter can also finish her GCSE that is happening in June, yes. You will not be evicted before that time. Hear me. As we are planning to move a bit outside of London. The court case is 10th of April, which is today. God bless you, sir. Thank you and God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. You will get the three months. You will get the three months. So that your daughter can write her GCSEs. And so that you will be able to move with your daughter to where you want to move to. In the name of Jesus, I give you the three months. 
As you go to the court today, I call favor, 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 favor before the judge, favor before your landlord, favor, 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 and I decree the three months you require before you move is a proof for you, is a proof for you, is a proof for you. I approve it on this altar. The Bible says if two or three of us shall agree as touching anything, it shall be done. It is done right now. The victory is ruled in your favor. Now, you get the three months you need before you move out of that property. It is done. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this altar because here we we have the grace to settle so many cases and make decisions. What a good God. This next message is a prayer request. Good day, Pastor Moses. Please, I need help in prayer and deliverance. Sir, some time ago, say a few months back, I went to use the bathroom. As soon as I sat down to use the toilet, I felt a hand robbed me on my bum, uh -uh, to my hip. I stand up and left. After that, sometime, I started hearing pulling of chair, table, opening of water, and clothes, as well as knocks on the windows and doors. These are strange things happening to this person. Oh, this day, last week, Thursday, at about half 2 to 3 a.m. I could not sleep due to having so much pains. So I turned off the lights and TV so that I can sleep. Next thing, I hear knocking on the door three times. I didn't respond. Next thing, I felt like a hand rubbing my hip to my belly, repeatedly wanting to touch my private part. But I used my leg to block it. Next, I had a hot slap in my womb from down up. I started shouting, fire, fire. These are things this person is expressing physically. Are you hearing this? I started shouting, fire, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost repeatedly. I prayed and read Psalm 91, 35, 27, and 23 until it was time, 6 a.m., until it was 6 a.m. prayer. Are you, are you understanding what is happening to this person? I need prayer for healing to pass my exams, favors, and open doors. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. We refer to the initials. This is Lady OB. People of God, we are going to send fire. There is a demonic activity. Are you? Did you hear the things that we just read? These are not things she's seen in the dream. Oh, these are things that are happening to her physically in her house. She's like under a demonic torment. But in the name of Jesus, Lady Obi, we are going to pray. Let the fire of God rescue that woman. Deliver on her. Everybody pray. We said fire. Fire. That demon that has invaded her life. Our home, we command you get out, get out, clear out, get out, get out, get out, Lose your grip. Lose your hold. Get out. Get out. Every demonic activity around your life, around your home, scatter. Scatter. That evil hand that comes to rob you, we cut it off. 
Rafa, we are Ayashakaya, I cannot water, I destroy that hand in the name of Jesus. In the name of those strange noises that you hear in your house, those strange movements that take place there, be uptown, be dissolved with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I declare your rescue, complete freedom, complete freedom, complete freedom. Complete deliverance. Complete deliverance. Complete deliverance. You will never suffer this anymore. In the name of Jesus. My God deliver you now. In Jesus name. Amen. You hear the mystery of, you know, the things that people go through. Next person said, you know, sometimes you have to be on an altar like this. So you know this is a real because sometimes... When men of God share the testimony later when they are preaching, so people say, Are you sure? Are you sure something like that happened? These are real things. Real. Don't wait until it happened to you before you believe. <laughs> Don't wait for it to happen to you before you believe. Next person said, Good night, Pastor Moses. Blessings to you and your wife. Say, My throat is giving me a problem so bad I don't know. If it's my gland and my thyroid gland hardly can talk good most of the times and holds up very often, but I believe God will come true for me. Please pray for me. We're going to pray. We may take this as the last uh, prayer point for this morning. We're going to decree and ask that the Lord will heal this person and rescue them completely. Rescue them completely. Rescue them completely. Everybody pray. Pray for the healing. Every affliction in your throat be cleared out. Be cleared out. I command your thyroid gland be healed. I command your thyroid gland be healed. Be healed. Let the afflictions leave your body now. Leave your body now. My God touch you. My God heal you. My God deliver you. With flush it out. We flush it out. We plead the blood of Jesus to flush it out. The infirmity, leave your body. The affliction, leave your body. The yoke, break now. Be healed by the power of Jesus. Never to be bound again. In Jesus' precious name, everybody say amen and amen. We are going to pray prayer this morning. Everybody are going to decree. They are going to decree and say, every conspiracy that is cooking up against me, let it scatter by fire. Say, everything, every case that is building up anywhere against me, be dissolved, be dissolved, be dissolved. Somebody pray. Every conspiracy, every case, Building up against me anywhere. Be dissolved. Scatter. 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 Take out the bayata. Shadow the box. My name will not be dented. Take a bratos. Rako shata. Rebedebede. Shigalabaya. Rasotia. Regatea. Zobretea. Let the hand of Jehovah begin to. Right now, every conspiracy has like a scatter in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody stand with me and let's pray for this lady, Lady P. Refer to them as Lady P. Decree that any conspiracy, any case against that lady, Ayagashagataya, a record of Ayata, to dent her name, to put a criminal record on her. It will not stand. It will not stand. Come on. Somebody pray for her. Rakashataya, a Rebedamedea, a Quatagata. We deliver today in the name of Jesus. Let all those who are walking against us let it backfire on their head. Backfire on their head. Backfire on their head. Backfire on their head. Aya ya ya shaya. Repotela. A shiga balata. A razo brete. A rata vala. A saratosia. In the name of Jesus. Kuma namashataya. Finally, you are going to pray for yourself. You are going to decree. Say this second quarter of 2024 is my quarter to advance. It's my quarter of progress. It's my quarter of winning. This second quarter, I advance. I make progress. Yes, indeed. I advance. I advance. I make progress. My ministry advances, my home advances, my career advances, my children advances. Somebody pray, oh, Reto Shata, Regataya, Azwa, Labarata, Reperegata, Ashigabara, Retwata, and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, it is done. It is done. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus most precious name and everybody say amen and amen and amen praise God hallelujah God has answered our prayers you will return with your testimony please send us your testimony by email to admin at or through whatsapp to the number plus four four seven eight three two six zero five four seven three and God bless you. We are always excited to hear testimony. In fact, I pray, you know, we remember, uh, my media people, please, let's remember tomorrow morning. I want us to share at least one of the testimonies of some of these HIV cases we've been praying for. We sh would share one of the testimonies of the healings we for HIV we received recently. We, rec we have a lot on the queue of those who have been healed. God is faithful. To, I'm telling you, this God is faithful. He is a good God. Is God is good. God is good. I'm telling you. He's a good God. So send your own testimony. Send it by email. Send it by WhatsApp to us. We want to receive it. And I know that your testimony will come true. It's a beautiful thing. I, I, I don't know about you, but I think about it myself. You know, sometimes I just think we just stand, we just pray. Do you think about it? Just pray like that, just like we've done now. And then the things will actually happen massively. Mass, massively. All kind of, you know, unusual miracles. For example, HIVs. The people will go back and they are, they are healed. People with stroke, healed. You know, all kind of things. God is faithful. God honestly this God is faithful. It's a good God. It's a good God. And so as we continue, your own have been answered. You will come back to testify. So everybody, email or send through WhatsApp your testimony. And so shall it be. This second quarter of 2024 is yours. It's yours. You will advance. You will make progress. You will be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to take our seat this morning. And as you give, I want you to declare over your seed, this is my quarter. This is my quarter. This is my quarter. Shaba roto kapara zebre ketele manko toda kata jagada gazo krebedia. I pray for you that as you give this morning, those who are sowing for their prayer requests, the Lord cause your answer to come and it comes quickly in the name of Jesus. Those who are sowing this morning, just sowing for anything. I pray that this quarter, 
this second quarter of 2024 will be your own your own your own your own your own for testimony your own for testimony your own for testimony in jesus precious name everybody say amen and amen please use the details that are on the screen you have the paypal giving details you can use that also the direct banking where you can do a direct bank transfer uh both to the uk account and then the african one also is direct bank transfer as well uh union bank in nigeria and then you have zale for those of you who are in the us that zale will work for better uh please use zale uh, god bless you thank you for being on the altar this morning and for standing in the gap in prayers it is joy and honestly god is good follow us on all our social media page uh it is pastor moses gcf is our handle name on all our pages facebook x TikTok, uh instagram is all pastor moses gcf and also on youtube youtube our uh, youtube channel name is pastor moses gcf please click on the subscribe button subscribe to follow us it's free of charge and remember to click the notification bell so whenever we are live you'll be one of the first to know we love you the lord bless you the lord establish you with his goodness in jesus name let's pray for those who want to give their life to jesus say with me quickly lord jesus forgive me my sins come into my life wash me with your blood save me and cleanse me completely in jesus name amen and amen and amen the lord bless you now, if you live in the London area, there is a conference that is coming up. Uh, I'm not the host, uh, but I know the man of God who will be ministering there, who is hosting and ministering. Coming up at uh, the Wembley, is it Ovo Wembley uh, Arena? Uh, I think it's happening. Not I think. The conference is happening tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, and then on Friday. Um, and it's, it's going to be a great time. Uh, Dr. Pastor Paul Ineche is uh, one of god's servants in this end time hosting the glory conference and um, we're supporting uh, that conference and trusting god it would be a massive time uh, i've been uh, working with um, a group of pastors uh, since last year actually to uh, plan uh, and uh, work towards that conference i believe that god will be sending his glory so if you happen to be in the london area and uh, you are able to be there it will be a great blessing for you god bless you have a blessed and a wonderful uh day be blessed i'll see you again tomorrow morning by 6 a.m uk time which is 6 a.m nigerian time and also uh 1 a.m u.s eastern time god bless you and have